and welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. My name is Jason Webster and today, you know, we're getting close to the planning window for the spring season. I thought we'd spend a little time today talking about some of the planning date information we've, we've got from the PTI farm on corn and soybeans. Let's dive right in. Let's talk about corn planting date. Here's some results from this past year in 2021 where April 28th was our optimum kind of sweet spot, if you will, of planting corn. The thing that really concerned me uh, this past year in 2021 was as we got really late planting dates um, after May 5th, just, just severe yield penalty by late planting this past year. You look at some of the dollar values. This is how I kind of like to separate it out and say, okay, what did it cost me if I planted too early? So we said April 28th was our sweet, sweet spot this past year. It cost me about $27 an acre to maybe push those planting dates up around April 19th. Okay, you really have to evaluate. That's, it, 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 it's not a tremendous loss, it, but nevertheless, it, it did cost us some. You get to April 6th, it's probably pushing just a little too much for my liking, you know, about $75 an acre losses. Let's go on the backside, planting later than, than, than planning the, the optimum planting window of April 28th. May 5th offered us some $64 losses, but then look at that. After that May 5th planting, tremendous losses of 100, near $60 of the acre to almost $250 an acre. Tremendous losses on the backside. We put all of our planting date information together, okay? We sorted it by, by, by all the years, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021, and the third week of April comes up as the highest yield, kind of our sweet spot on average over the last four years here at the PTI farm. And that's probably no surprise to anybody. That, that's pretty much when we're, we're wanting to get planted. But I guess the one thing I'll point out on this is, again, the, the, the risk and reward. How much risk are you willing to take to get a high reward? And I just think there's too much risk associated with trying to push corn too early during the first two weeks of April. For us, typically, that, that hasn't really worked. One other thing I think is interesting, a little blip in the data on the second week of May. This is from usually Mother's Day massacre events. And over the short period of time we've been here at the PTI farm, Mother's Day massacres have been pretty prevalent, I guess. It, it's something that, that, that we've we feared a lot just because we usually have cold, wet rains in that time frame, And it, it is showing up in our data right now. It was interesting to see that. Let's change gears and talk soybeans. This is one situation where I feel pretty good about trying to plant early. The risk and reward changes on this. I think we have relatively low risk and high reward as we look at pushing soybean planting dates earlier. Look at 2021 planting date data. We got in March 10th, believe it or not, planted some soybeans, came in at over 84 bushel to the acre. Our sweet spot was April 6th, still pretty early, planting dates with over 87 bushel to the acre soybeans. From that April 6th sweet spot, that, that perfect window there, yields went down every week I planted later than that. And now the big, you know, significant yield loss was as we got into June, but still we were running 76 bushel beans uh, June 4th. June 17th, we fell down to 61.3 bushel to the acre. So a really good bean year this past year at the PTI farm, uh, really high soybean yields. Let's go to the dollars like we did on corn before. Let's look at what it cost me if I planted too early or too late. Sweet spot, April 6th, that gray bar in the screen. We push a little early to March 10th, cost me about $35 an acre. I go on the backside a little bit later than the April 6th. I got in on April 19th, real close to that same loss, about $40 to the acre, and then things start to change a little bit. May 22nd, a $63 loss per acre. And then when we got into June, tremendous losses $130 to even over $300 per acre losses. Just goes to show you, we can plant beans a little earlier, and I, I do think there's somewhat low risk uh, with this. Let's look at this. I pulled the data together, just looking at first half of May planting dates, which I think that's when a lot of soybeans are being planted um, in the Midwest. And if we just take those yields, those average yields from 2018 to 2021, compared to last half of April, so the last two weeks of being able to plant soybeans, there's a 10.3 bushel yield gain just kind of hanging out there for me. I, I think this is low hanging fruit. I do think we can push planting dates maybe just two weeks earlier and there's some yield advantage 
advantages to be had. Get this, our data would say that we get to the first half of April and there's even more yield. We're, we're pushing average yields over 80 bushel in this situation. And even in the last half of March, we're over 85. And as a grower, you may say, well, geez, I don't know if I could ever plant in March. Get this, the four years we've been at PTI, we've been able to plant beans in March two of the four years that we've been here. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is, when is the right time to plant corn and soybeans? Well, I'll tell you, my philosophy is this. If, I, if I'm given the opportunity to plant early, soybeans is gonna be my go-to crop. Now, I think cold soils are okay for soybeans, though that doesn't really bother me. The thing is, it's going to have to be fit. We just can't plant soybeans in the mud. You can put all the technology on a planter in the world, but if you're gonna plant the crop, in the mud, it could be a dud. Early plant beans, I think, really offer me that extended growing season to give me higher yields. Extended grow growing season to put more nodes on each individual soybean plant that's gonna equal more pods and more beans. And remember, if I can just push planting dates up two weeks earlier, within those two weeks, we're seeing 10.3 bushel yield gain. So I would call that low hanging fruit that we could go after and attack and given the current soybean prices that we have, could be a really good way to increase revenue on the farm. Corn on the other hand, I do think the risk reward gets a little out of whack with this one and I do think it's too risky to push planting dates too early. Um, our data would say before April 15th is just too risky and, 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 and we run the risk of lower yields. I want to wait for soils to get warm, I want to wait for them to get fit and then I want to plant corn furiously fast and furiously, okay, with high-speed planting technology. If you're going to be put in a situation where you're going, you're, you are going to plant corn in those cold, wet conditions, make sure you have a saturated cold germ test. And maybe that's something we ought to be doing now as we're getting ready for the planting season. Test those corn hybrids to see how well they do in cold, wet conditions. That'll tell you whether you can plant the, the hybrid early, okay, in the risk of having a cold rain is that first drink of water. Well, this is all the time we have for today's episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, reach out to your local Precision Planning Premier dealer. They'd be glad to answer any questions that you have. Or you can send us an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.